Neighbor against neighbor, the fight over an entrance gate into a Pasco County neighborhood now escalating this evening. After attempting to install barriers and then a gate, one community is getting a lawyer involved. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King is uncovering what they're planning next. It's a fight over this gate. Everybody needs to just use their own gate. The entrance to the Meadow Point 2 community off Mansfield Road in Wesley Chapel, leading drivers through Meadow Point 2 all the way to Meadow Point 3. The reason why that gate and why there's so much tension around this gate is because it is the main artery into and out of the community. Until recently, the two communities had a land use agreement, allowing Meadow Point 3 homeowners to use the Meadow Point 2 gate. That agreement is up and Meadow Point 2 wants them to use their own gate on the opposite side of the neighborhood, a driving difference of about five minutes. Personally, I think we have to take it away in order to cut the traffic. Meadow Point 2 homeowners are tired of the amount of cars traveling through their neighborhood. My biggest concern is the traffic. Over the last few weeks, Meadow Point 2 CDD put up barriers and stop arms, both moves halted by the county. Now they're taking it a step further, bringing lawyers in, filing a public records request for extensive information on communication between county officials and Meadow Point 3 members. Among those members, Scott Valentine. I think because I've been a vocal advocate for everything and I've been trying to help people stay informed, I think I just can't be kind of became a target. Valentine says he has not been working with the county, only that he wants a solution as much as anybody. One Meadow Point 2 homeowner says she just wants to improve safety. If the end result is it slows traffic down, then I'm okay with it. I mean, I, I will spend whatever to make the neighborhood safe. In Wesley Chapel, McKenna King, ABC Action News.